why might somebody need to be doing something on GPUs as opposed to just CPUs? Um, it depends. I think it just depends on the software you want to run. So, um, and sort of the size of your data and sort of a lot of different things, but, um, for, for driverless, um, you know, one of, one of the algorithms under the hood is, is XGBoost and that's, can be like, it's a software that is optimized for GPUs or you can run it on CPUs or GPUs, but, uh, can run a lot faster on GPUs. The other thing is like the genetic algorithm, like that's kind of a beast. So like want to just throw mm-hmm. as much compute at that as possible. So yeah, I mean, GPUs are, they're more expensive. They're more, um, resource intensive, but they can also just, you know, solve problems quickly. Um, so, mm-hmm. you know, it's just kind of whatever works for you. Um, some people don't have a GPU. You can rent them, but they're a little expensive to rent uh, on the cloud. Um, so, yeah, and and because H two O, you know, the OG was <laughs> created in 2012, the company was founded. So, if you can kind of remember back ten years in the data science world, like everything, well. Amazon EC2 was like newly becoming like a popular thing. And it was like, all of a sudden we could get very, very cheap CPUs, uh, like widely accessible. And so that was kind of one of the goals is like, let's build a library that can take advantage of that compute infrastructure at the time. And fast forward 10 years, like we have a lot more advances in GPUs and um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with both H2O uh, also can use GPUs when you're using XGBoost, but that's the only that's the only third party algorithm that we have incorporated in the tool and also the only one that can take advantage of GPUs. So, well, and I'm not surprised given all the Kaggle grandmasters at H2O that XGBoost happens to be the algorithm that gets all that extra attention <laughs> because uh, XGBoost is often <clears throat> the winning algorithm in a given Kaggle competition. Uh, and probably many listeners are aware of Kaggle, but so we've mentioned that a few times now, but it's a uh, uh, it's a platform that we'll be sure to have in the show notes in case you aren't aware of it. It allows you to test your chops at solving data science problems against other people around the world. And the top performing algorithms in those, competition, in those competitions are often XGBoost. And the people who regularly top these competitions are Kaggle Grandmasters, like chess grandmasters. Uh, mm-hmm. And yeah, H2O is famous for hoovering up all those grandmasters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they they also like like GBM and sometimes Cat Boost, so I'll just give them a shout out as well. <laughs> Not just XGBoost, but yeah, like a lot of people like like GBM too. That's true. 